What was once viewed as a symbol of progress, resilience, and visionary design has suddenly turned into a scene few ever imagined. In mid-April 2024, the ultra-modern city of Dubai, known for its towering skyline and desert heat, found itself overwhelmed by powerful floodwaters. Streets that normally glimmer under desert sun were swallowed by deep brown currents. Cars disappeared beneath the rising tide and residents watched from their windows as their city temporarily transformed into something unrecognizable. This is the story of one of Dubai's most disruptive weather events in decades. What happened, how it unfolded, and what it may mean for the future. On April 16, 2024, rain began falling lightly across Dubai, a city that typically receives only a few inches of precipitation per year. At first, residents expected a brief shower, but within hours, a gentle drizzle escalated into a sustained downpour, unlike anything the region had seen in 75 years. The skies opened with relentless force, pushing the desert city far beyond its natural limits. By midday, Sheikh Zayed Road, one of Dubai's most iconic and heavily traveled highways, had transformed into a wide channel of still water. Motorists were trapped in their vehicles as the rain continued, leaving many unsure of when help could reach them. Pedestrians waded through knee-deep water, emergency workers navigated blocked routes, and some residents found themselves stranded inside their homes as the flood levels rose. The Emirates National Center of Meteorology issued urgent alerts, warning residents across the United Arab Emirates to stay indoors and avoid unnecessary travel. but the storm only intensified. At Dubai International Airport, one of the busiest aviation hubs in the world, flight operations were forced to pause as taxiways and runways flooded. Travelers waited anxiously inside terminals, watching as the usually precise and efficient airport struggled under the weight of the storm. Across the UAE, schools were closed and government employees were instructed to work from home. What was expected to be a normal weekday quickly turned into a nationwide effort to remain safe and out of harm's way. As the day went on, rainfall totals surpassed 120 millimeters, nearly five inches, within hours, an extraordinary figure for a region known for its dry, hot climate. The flooding became so widespread that it forced the postponement of a major Asian Champions League semifinal match between Al Ain and Al Hilal. Large sections of major highways were underwater, and the continuing thunderstorm made travel nearly impossible. Yet the impact of the storm extended far beyond transportation and closures. Parts of the city experienced temporary power outages as crews struggled to manage the strain on infrastructure. The Dubai Metro's red line saw severe disruptions, with service halted between several key stations. Shuttle buses attempted to help commuters navigate the affected areas, but many routes were simply inaccessible. As night fell and the storm persisted, Dubai remained under an orange weather alert, signaling a high likelihood of dangerous conditions. Neighboring emirates, including Ras Al Khaimah in Abu Dhabi, were placed under yellow alerts. Residents were urged to stay aware, 
stay indoors, and avoid flooded areas. But as the immediate crisis unfolded, a larger question emerged. What caused such an intense storm in a city that rarely sees more than brief rain showers? Meteorologists explain that the rainfall was part of a large and powerful storm system sweeping across the Arabian Peninsula and into the Gulf of Oman. This same system also produced unusually heavy rainfall in Oman and southeastern Iran, where at least 18 lives were lost due to flash floods. However, many experts pointed to the growing influence of climate change as a major contributing factor. Frederica Otto, a leading researcher on climate and extreme weather, stated that human-caused global warming played a significant role in intensifying the deadly rainfall seen across the region. Warmer temperatures contribute to greater moisture in the atmosphere, which can lead to more intense and prolonged storms especially in places unaccustomed to such weather. The discussion didn't stop there. Reports emerged questioning whether the UAE's cloud seeding program, a long-running effort to increase rainfall in the region, might have played a part. Cloud seeding involves releasing small particles into clouds to encourage raindrop formation. The UAE has used this technology since 2002 to address water scarcity. While there is no definitive evidence linking cloud seeding to the severity of this storm, the event reignited public debate about whether human intervention in weather systems could bring unintended consequences. Beyond the scientific explanations, the floods highlighted a deeper vulnerability. Dubai is a coastal city with many low-lying districts, and much of its rapid development has replaced natural buffers like mangrove forests. As a result, storm surges and heavy rainfall can have a more pronounced effect. Combined with increasing temperatures, rising sea levels, and the city's reliance on energy-intensive systems like desalination and air conditioning, Dubai faces a complex set of climate-related challenges. The images of flooded roads, stranded motorists, and waterlogged neighborhoods serve as a sobering reminder that even the most technologically advanced cities are not immune to the global changes taking place. For a city built on innovation and ambition, the events of April 2024 reveal that preparedness for climate extremes must be part of its future planning. As floodwaters gradually recede and emergency teams restore power, clean streets, and reopen transportation lines, Dubai begins the long process of recovery. Residents step outside to assess the damage, flooded homes, damaged vehicles, interrupted businesses, and a shaken sense of normalcy. Yet amid the challenges, the spirit of the community remains strong. Neighbors helped one another, volunteers stepped in where needed, and authorities worked tirelessly to restore order. In the end, the floods of 2024 will be remembered not only for their intensity, but also for the questions they raise. What does the future hold for cities built along coastlines in a warming world? How can rapidly growing urban centers adapt to increasingly unpredictable weather patterns? And what lessons can Dubai's experience offer other regions facing similar risks?
As we reflect on the events of that day, one message becomes clear. Now is the time to prepare, to rethink, and to act. The flood may have receded, but the warning it delivered must not be ignored. Our cities and our collective future depend on the steps we take next.